Hey, thanks for joining me here in the studio. Casey Ashmore here. We're talking about inventory and appraisement and what that means. It applies to Texas family law cases, original suits for divorce. And I'm going to break this down in this video series about what it is, why you need to do it, and how it can be helpful. So an inventory and appraisement is a sworn document which means it's good as testimony because you're taking an oath and saying everything I put in there is true and correct so help me God under penalty of perjury I can be held in contempt if I am evasive or deceitful on that document so you know I'm gonna define I like defining things because I think there's too much jargon in our world and words matter you know words carry significance they can be weapons and to have the tools you need to understand what you're facing you need to understand the definition so a sworn inventory and appraisement is a method for discovering assets and liabilities in an original suit for divorce where the spouses have assets and then they have to define the character of those assets. Is it something that you had before you came into the marriage? A $100,000 whole life policy or a retirement account or a home or something you inherited during the marriage, which means it's your complete separate property, right? And then all of the things that were acquired or increased in value during the marriage. Those would be characterized as community property and then a list of all liabilities. So it's a list really. I mean, in its simplest terms, it is a list of real and personal property, debts and liabilities sworn to under penalty of perjury and exchanged between the spouses. So it can be done by agreement and in most cases it is especially when the spouses have been married for a while and there's significant inventory and they need to know what each other have or don't have in their in their estates right because what you're starting to do is you take the entirety of the marital estate and you're gonna do a just and right division. Now, Texas has a community property presumption, which means everything acquired, accumulated during a marriage has a presumption that it is a community asset, which means it's owned equally by the husband and wife, by the spouses, and that has to be rebutted with evidence. One of the ways to challenge that presumption right that's what rebuttal means to challenge that presumption that it's jointly owned is through a sworn inventory and appraisement now it's not absolutely necessary to do one but it's a damn good idea and it's essentially building a big list of these three areas right what assets do you how many Cars, boats, motorcycles, RVs, usually just one. How many pieces of real estate? Sometimes it's just the one, the, the, the home that the spouses live in, but sometimes it's more, right? Sometimes they have a second home. Sometimes there's a situation where people have married a long time. You know, they, they have accumulated more assets. They have a piece of land out in West Texas where they hunt and there's a cabin and a second home on it, or Sometimes there's a sailboat that's used as a second home. What have you? You know, a getaway in a place like, you know, Tampa, Florida, or Ybor City, or Miami, what, whatever that may be. And then, of course, the big one is the debts, right? The mortgages, the credit cards, the health, and all other debts that were accumulated during the course of the marriage. But this list is critical because it helps spouses make informed decisions about property divisions. 
right? Decisions that they need to make so that they can, they can come to an agreement if possible about how they're going to divide their marital assets and without court intervention, come to their own just and right division of the marital estate during that divorce to avoid a final trial, right? So this is a critical tool in the toolbox of the family law case to put the, the clients in control, put, put yourself in control of what is that just and right division gonna look like? Well, the first thing you have to have is the information from each other, complete transparency, because it's sworn to, remember. And more often than not, the secrecy regarding assets is penalized quite harshly. I've only ever seen that one time, and that was many, many years ago, and there was an offshore bank account, and it was supposed to be disclosed in a, it was supposed to have been disclosed in an inventory and appraisement, it wasn't. And there were some stiff consequences, you know, basically the award of that entire amount of money that was discovered after the sworn inventory and even after the divorce was carved out from the person who did the covering up and taken away from them entirely, including all increases and given to the innocent spouse who discovered it later after the fact. But that means you have to exercise your rights. One of the ways you do that is by either exchanging, either through court order or by agreement or just regular plain old discovery, the series, the sequence of asking, the parties asking each other questions and figuring out what these community assets, separate property assets, liabilities are. Thanks so much for watching. More on inventory and appraisement coming up next. Oh, 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 oh,